Hello, my name is Terry Wright, and this is my Things I Should Have Said video for SOC 100. Um, I'm going to be breaking down uh, social inequality and talking about one that I witnessed in particular um, and talk about why it was a social inequality using three concepts from the course as well as give my reaction, uh, why I reacted that way and talk about things that I can do or could have done and things that I can do in the future if something like this ever happens again. Um, basically, um, this is something that happened very recently, so it's nice that I get to be able to talk about this because it's something that made me pretty uncomfortable at the time. But uh, I was coming home from tailgating on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, this is two weeks into the semester. Uh, we were playing Western Michigan in football. There was a lot of people around. And um, I'm walking down MAC Avenue, and I see a couple coming towards me. And the female has a pretty uh, angry look on her face. She's walking pretty fast. The male's walking behind her. He looks like he's got a concerned look on his face, like he just wants to talk. He puts his arm on the girl, and she um, instantly swings around and pushes him away. She says, get away from me. You don't care about me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. And, and you know, she starts hitting him. She just instantly starts throwing punches, slaps at his face, at his torso. He's covering up his face. And he's, he's, he just yells at her. He's like, what are you doing right now? Like, do you see how you look right now? And, you know, and then she starts walking away. And he goes to follow her. And she says, you know, leave me alone. You're an asshole. And he's like, I just want to talk to you. But, um, you know, I, I recognized at the time that there was a lot of other people around that were that witnessed exactly what I saw. And uh, uh, I would say that this situation demonstrates a social inequality for a couple of reasons. Uh, the concepts that I used were um, the uh, relationship violence, uh, gender stereotypes, gender roles, and uh, the bystander effect. Um, uh, to talk about first relationship violence, um, relationship violence is like a, a typically a power struggle between um, one uh, party of the relationship uh, towards their significant other in order to gain power to maintain like control of them. And um, we typically don't view um, women as the perpetrators of um, relationship violence because, you know, our uh, gender roles or gender stereotypes that we have developed throughout our social norms tell us that the um, the women are inferior to men in terms of you know physical capabilities. Women are, are aren't as strong as men; they could never you know harm a man with their bare hands. But you know th these things do happen, and um, we need to be able to recognize as bystanders, you know, how to go about. Um, you know, approaching this and, you know, how we can talk to these people, how other bystanders can, can get in on the action and, and help prevent things like these from happening again. Um, thinking about my own reaction, you know, I could have responded much better. I probably did the worst thing I could have done. And at the time I was thinking, you know, this is none of your business. You just go home, like watch the game. And um, I know that there's a lot more things that I could have done in that situation. Um, I think that for me, as kind of a socially anxious person, um, it would have been a lot easier for me to see one of the bystanders, uh, go talk to them and, you know, make a little bit of a plan to approach the couple and, and tell them, hey, is everything OK? Like, um, maybe you should talk this out. Let's not get physical and, you know, explain to the, the woman, especially that, you know, we don't need to get uh, to the point where we need to put our hands on each other. Um, you know, I, it made me uncomfortable to think about where they were going, you know, what was going to happen after that, if that's something that they always go through. And I think that, you know, if I was in a, in a situation where I had, you know, a support group around me, you know, like at least another person to, to, you know, help back up my claims that I wouldn't have felt like I was trying to be like a social justice warrior by myself, because I think that, um, it's a lot easier as a group to be able to um, convince people than it is as just you know a single person because, you know, I guess as peer pressure goes, it can be positive. And um, when we when we see things like this, we need to be able to speak out 
and speak our minds and you know rectify these social inequalities.